pass. Fold from the button, blind on blind. And this is Perry Hollingworth, who's down to a single stack of red 100-pound chips and a very thin scattering of 25-pound oranges. Yeah, he's definitely going to raise here. I mean, he's got ace-nine off suit. He's, he's in the small blind. The thing is how much. Personally, with the blinds 150, 300, I'd be considering all in. Race. If he makes it too cheap, John's going to call him. Raise to 7.50. Oh, oh, wow. Well, this might work out perfectly for Perry. Hey, he could get on here. Absolutely. If John thinks he can push him off this, he's going to re-raise him. Perry would love to chance a double up with this situation. It's an interesting one. He definitely thinks his hand's through, John. He's wondering why he's only raised 450 when the blinds are 150, 300, and he's only got a short stack. He knows that Perry's pot committed. This is definitely not a calling position. This is either all in or pass. More John thinks about it. Or he looks like folding in, a, in the end game. He'll be quite proud of himself if he does it. Cool. That's a bad play. Cool. He's chip leader. He has enough chips to push the guy off the hand. He knows the guy's pot committed. What does he want to see on the flop? Two sixes? Interestingly enough, Simon, if, if they both miss the flop, you wonder if Perry can Two follow pins. through. There's too much out there to leave behind. Come on, Perry, show some heart. You raised. Represent the hand. <laughs> so close. Yes! He did awesome. it! Strong left arm from Perry Hollingworth is going to take this down. I had a feeling you were going to do that, Perry. Look at the heartbeat on Perry's throat. Oh, he's got jumping jelly beans on the inside, but he made a great move. Win or lose. And he's going to be pleased to know that he's in fantastic awesome. shape here. Take it. Well, John says he got away from it, but really he just lost 450 that he shouldn't have lost. Well, we found out something about Perry Hollingworth. This man from <coughs> Bridport in Dorset in the catering business, but he can slide with the best of them. I started playing poker when I got a computer in February of this year and started playing online. The wife quite enjoys me playing online because then she gets to pick what's on the television instead of me. Well, I've never seen a purple cow, but this, Simon, five-handed late-night poker ace action, pretty incredible. Oh, it, it's unbelievable. I didn't think we'd ever see five players left when we got to this level, Jesse. <coughs> I mean, this is the seventh oh level. Now. These guys have Pass. fought through six levels. But the blinds Pass. are 200, 400 now. The stacks are small, Pass. and we're going to see some action. Yeah, they've been duking and dodging like it's a game of dodgeball. Race to 1,000. This is why I like the way Lee's been playing. Instead of moving all in short stacked, he's just raised it up. And he's just hoping that uh, Perry's either got nothing he's going to pass. Or if he's got a hand, there's no way that Lee's passing. Well, this looks like bang, bang. How can Perry lay down this hand? He's got 400 in. It's 600 more. Yeah. Tank on. We're going to see a race here. Yeah, quick call from Lee, no doubt. And there we go. And I, I do believe th these guys have either nearly or exactly the same stacks. 100. 100 back. Uh, Lee can take one chip back, which means Perry is all in. Come huh. on, please. They're both all in. Perry shows Theoretically, ace, Lee has 100 space. back. Two nines against and the ace 10 suited. It's like 50 50 <laughs> here, Simon. The these guys playing for the tournament. The flop comes. Ace, ace. seven six. So the ace is for Perry. He's in front. Well, 
Needs to hit Ten a nine cards. on the turn or an eight to give him a straight draw to give him some Jake. hope. Heartbreaking for Lee, and that has That's taken nice. away one of his nines. Only Here's the nine eights. of diamonds, and, and it up. didn't come. Double up for Perry, and Lee is down to a, well, they say a chip in a chair. That's exactly what he's got. Absolutely. Oh, well, one thing, he's on the button, so he's got a whole round to go. Heartbreaking stuff for Lee McKinley. Hmm. He's thinking about what could have been. What is is just a lonely mama. We're still five, but one of them on Hangman's Row. And here comes Andrew just calling with the King huh? Jack. Man, let's put a thousand pounds out there. And uh, cool. oh, looks yeah. like Lee will just take the, the pot odds here. He could quadruple up. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, again, I mean, it, with I know there's still five players there, but with the blinds Pass. so high, Pass. with a hand like King Jack shorthanded, Andrew should be making a decent size raise and Jack. picking the blinds up. So Lee McKinley all in. The There'll be 400 the in the main pot still and a bunch on the side. Two players. Jack. Again, Andrew's checked out a turn here, showing uh, John that he's missed the flop. Bet. Andrew knows he's made a big mistake here. 800. Pass. John is fixated here. And the situation now, John. John gets the side Show pot, in. 400 in the main, uh, and a very tough five, spot which is queen for Lee McKinley. He really needs a queen alone, Simon. Absolutely, a seven is no good to him. Although he'd make a straight, John would make a higher straight. Here's the seven, which makes a straight for It's all Lee. over. Ten could chop it. Anything else. And we are down to four players. For John, yeah. Trying to go this straight to the 10, so which means Lee's up. And Simon, in some ways, Lee McKinley showed as much heart as anybody at this table. In the end, he lost a race. Absolutely, it wasn't enough, and unfortunately it came down to one hand. And uh, he had the best hand going in, but he lost it, and sadly he's, he's leaving us today. I think being a casino dealer previously had my game because I could look across the table and count someone's chips. There was a... There was a few instances where people were asking how much was in the pot and things like that. Um, you know, that did give me a slight advantage, but at the end of the day, I'd got rubbish cards and there you go. I've enjoyed it a lot. It's been a hell of an experience. Um, you know, once in a lifetime experience. Hopefully not. Uh, and it's just been really fun. Four freckled card flingers and a handful of flops. Sean Watkins just happy to be in it with this Pass. murderer's row going on. High blinds here, Simon. Well, that's one of the disadvantages, Jesse, of um, having five players survive to this point. We're now down to four. The blinds are 200, 400. And with the short stacks, Pass. Andrew and Sean, they really are going to have to uh, make a right. move. John, who's our chip leader, is uh, deciding to be the aggressor into Andrew's big blind. Just, uh, wow. Of 400 he hasn't done this too much. But it's, a, it's an admirable move. This is exactly Raised what he should thousand. be doing, huh? Raised to one well, thousand. it is what he should be doing, but he's, uh, I did say before, he might do it at the wrong time, and it looks like this is the wrong time. Oh, he's run into a sawmill here. 1,700. And the question ah. is, is John Pot committed, Simon? No. He can get away from this. So I've got to put... 700 more. 700 more. Oh, dear. Is that all it is? I didn't realise that. He must have put a much bigger raise in. He's getting four to one. There's 2,700 in here. He's got two live cards. It's an automatic call. If he's sure that he's got two over cards against him. King Queen nice gamble. looks very pretty. I've got absolute racks. But the 9-5 is not so no, bad as to be impossible. The cards are live. Andrew's all in, but in a strong King, spot King to double up. Yep. He's only two to one in favor. Absolutely. It's wrong timing at the wrong time or wrong timing at the right time. Flop comes, seven, two, three. Nice flop for clubs. Andrew. So Flush queen, draw, a club would front. seal this deal. Turn card, here's the nine, but John, John is a pair that of one. That one hurt. A club, a queen, a 